Hi, I'm Dipali Chandel and this tutorial is in continuation with the NLP tutorial. So, uh, in the previous class, we had completed till the bag of words. Now, we're going to start from the text classification. Okay. So, what is basically the text classification? See, classifying the text. Okay. So, we have several application of this, uh, you know, this process. So, what are the application like sentiment analysis, intention mining and spam filtering. What is sentiment analysis? In this classification task, on the basis of people's opinions expressed in a piece of text, okay, we have to classify whether that opinion is positive, negative, uh, neutral, uh, okay, uh, and we have several categories in it, fine. Now, coming to the intention mining, in intention mining, on the basis of a, per, um, uh, okay, on a basis uh, of a, per, a person's uh, text, we're going to find out the intention for the future, future de decision regarding anything, okay. So, that is intention mining. Now, coming to, coming to the spam filtering. So, what is a spam, a spam filtering? This is very, this is mostly used, we can say, task over here. So, what happens in this? In this, we are going to filter which email to will go to the spam and ham. Like ham will be non-spam. Okay. So, in a spam filtering, this is very matured field in the text classification. Over there, uh, we are going to uh, like, Using this spam filtering technique, we're going to filter which email will go to the spam folder and which uh, email will go, on, will go into the inbox, that is ham folder, that is non-spam. Fine. Now, as we know, like machine learning algorithms works well with the numbers, but when it comes to the text, we need to pre-process uh, that text to make our model predict well. Fine. Now, we will include certain, um, you know, certain steps for pre-processing the text for uh, for our spam filtering program okay now for that simple i'm just reading my data my data is data.csv which is my uh, sms data fine now with the help of pandas first i imported the pandas and then with the read function i'm reading that data so you can see v1 folder contain the categories whether uh, the sms is ham or spam and v2 uh, v2 column contains the messages fine now Coming further, we will import regex, re, we will import NLTK, then uh, in the library uh, of the NLTK, the tokenized library, from that we are going to import word tokenized and we are going to use it as wt. Fine. Now, from the NLTK.corpus library, that is from the NLTK, it's, uh, from its corpus library, we are going to import the stop words, then further, from the NLTK, uh, from its stem library, we're going to import the porter function or porter class. Okay. And from that, we're going to use porter stemmer class. Fine. Now, we're going to create the object for that. That with the name stemmer. As you can see over here. Now, I'm creating an empty list with the name data. Now, I'm creating a for loop over here. Writing a for loop over here. So, this for loop will go. From uh, starting from the, uh, as we can see, what is the shape of the data set? How many rows and how many columns? 5,572 rows and 5 columns. Okay. So, shape 0 represents, we want to access the rows. So, this i variable will gonna access each row. Okay. Now, coming over here, from that data set, I want to access each row and v2 column. In each row, V2 column. So, we can say we want to access the V2 column for each row. And that data will be stored in the SMS. Now, in on that SMS, we are going to apply this regex expression. So, what it going to do? It going to replace all non-alphabetical characters like punctuation, symbols and everything with the space. Okay? With this space, it going to replace. So, it's going to replace all non-alphabetical characters like uh, punctuation, symbols or numbers with a space. Fine. Now, we're going to uh, we're gonna lower all the words. Uh, we're going to convert all the words to the uh, lower case. Then, we're going to use word tokenizer. Okay. We're going to use word tokenizer, tokenizer. So, we are converting all the sentence in the word format. Okay. The list of words. Fine. Now, we want to remove stop words and we want to do this stemming. So, what we are going to do over here? First of all, I am creating an empty list with the name SMS processed. Now, uh, I am writing here a for loop for word in tokenized SMS. So, 
So in tokenized SMS, we will get all the words. Okay, so this for loop will access all the words one by one. Okay, because this was the output of the word tokenizer. Fine. Now, if that word is not in the set of stop words for the English language, then that word will come into the will uh, will uh, added into the SMS underscore processed list with the help of append function. After doing the stamming, okay. After doing the stamming, fine. Now we gonna join all the words, all the words which are there in this list with the help of space with the join function. Okay, as we know, like join function works on works on the strings, so this will contain a list of strings. We can say strings strings will be words. Okay, so we gonna join them with the help of space. Now, then we gonna append this data, this data dictionary over here, with the, with this, okay, this SMS text variable which contain all the words which we got over here, okay, which we got over here after appending, uh, joined with the spaces, okay. Now let's see, it will look like this. This data variable will look like this, fine. This is first sentence, then this is second sentence, then coming over here, this is third sentence, okay, and this is fourth, like this, it will go on, okay. Now, creating the feature matrix, so from the sklearn, I am first uh, calling, uh, I am, uh, sorry, I am importing the class feature extraction, out of that I am, uh, I am importing uh, from that uh, text, sorry, from sklearn.feature extraction library and from its text library, we are importing the count vectorizer. Okay. Now, we are creating an object for the count vectorizer with maximum features with the parameter maximum features equal to 1000. That means the maximum features that we can have, that means maximum words that will be our features can be 1000 only. Are you getting it? What we did in the, uh, we can say bag of words, the maximum features that will act like columns okay that will act like number of columns for our uh, bag of words will, will can can only be thousand in numbers maximum thousand numbers okay fine now on this uh, object of the count vectorizer i am using the fit transform function and i am fitting the data and transforming it to the array format okay that data was this one okay Find the list of sentences that we going uh, after joining with the spaces. Okay. Now this x uh, that I'm storing in the x variable, and then this y will contain from that data set all the rows. Okay. For all the rows, b1 column, and b1 column contain categories ham, spam, ham, spam like this. Fine. Now with the help of get feature underscore names function, we are gonna get all the names of the features that you can see over here fine all the thousand uh, feature names okay now with the help of vocabulary function on this uh, on this object we can say we will get the index index values of all the words that are acting as features in our uh, bag of words okay that we are doing so you can say the in, uh, index for the go will be 332, index for the point will be 650, like this, okay. So in total, how many features we have? 1000, okay. Now, so over here we are looking at the X. So what was X? Which was converted into the array format. Data was converted to the array format. So we can see two dimensional array, fine. Now, that means this will be this in total will be 505, uh, 5572 something, right? So these one dimensional array will be in those in those those in numbers, 5000 approximately. Okay. Now x0, that means we want to see the first uh, row. Okay. So this first row is this one. That means this row we want to access. So this is that huge, you can see. Back of first row back of words, okay. 
so it will indicate like how many time that word is particularly coming in the first message then uh, if you write over here x1 then for the second message it will print okay now length of the x1 and x0 will be same that is 1000 as we know we have already fixed the maximum features can be 1000 okay now doing the uh, train tra uh, test split so from the sk learn library and from its model selection module i am importing the train test split cl uh, class or function so what it gonna do it gonna split the x and y x is my independent variable and y is my dependent variable so what is y train we just wanna look at y train so y train is this one that column that we got like ham span and all fine now from sklearn dot knife base uh, module, we're gonna import the Gaussian knife base. How? Why we? Why I'm using the uh, knife base? Because few years, a uh, uh, few years back, knife base algorithm outperformed and give better result as compared to other algorithms in the case of text classification. That's why over here we are using the knife base. Okay, out of that Gaussian knife base. Now this classifier gonna uh, be used over here so we are do, we are using the fit function to fit the train x train data and y train data okay now let's look at x test what is x test so this is our x test now we're gonna predict on this x test as we know like we predict on testing data so we're gonna predict on the test data so y predict is equal to classifier dot predict x test fine now let's see Okay, so what is y predict? Okay, so we got y predict for all the, you know, this. Obviously, we will get it in the categories. Now, confusion matrix. So, over here from the sklearn.matrix module, I am importing the uh, confusion matrix function, class, classification report function, and then accuracy score function. So, for that confusion matrix class or function, I am just making, uh, initiating an object that is CM, then for classification record, CR, and then we are just printing it. So, uh, this confusion matrix will be between Y test and Y predict. Similarly, this classification report will be between Y test and Y predict. And again, we, you can see, this is my output of the confusion matrix. So, you can see over here. This is, we can say, this is error and this is error. Okay. Fine. And these two are correct predictions. Now, let's see what does this classification report uh, tells us. So, over here you can see precision is 0.98 for the ham. And precision we know, it works on the prediction. So, predicted out of the predicted class. Okay. Predicted positive, we can say. Predicted positive for the ham, 0.9 like how many of the uh, were predicted correctly out of the predicted positive for the ham so 98 percent were predicted uh, correctly okay were classified correctly out of the predicted positive for the ham category okay now coming to the spam one so 38 percent out of all the um, predicted uh, positive for the spam category 38 percent were predicted correctly Okay, now coming to the recall, out of all the actual uh, ham categories, uh, 79 were predicted correctly, 79%. And over here, out of all the actual spam categories, 89% were predicted correctly. Okay, now over here for the ham, you can see 87% is the F1 score and ham uh, for spam it is 53. Now coming to the overall Overall accuracy with the accuracy score function between Y test and Y predict, we got 79.9. Okay. Fine. Now, let's predict for completely new message. So, over here you can see we uh, I have created a function. So, in this I am passing three variables. Classifier, list of messages and CV. So, list of messages first of all, gonna transform the list of messages to array format. Then, we go, it gonna return classifier dot predict for the list of messages okay now this sentences we're gonna pass this there are two strings in the uh, in the list sentences so we're gonna pass it inside the pred function okay and this classifier variable will be this one object of this gaussian knife 
that we already created and this cv instead of cv i am passing the matrix because this matrix as you can see it is the object of the count vectorizer function okay so we are passing these three in the pred function and we got it like first message this is ham and this one is spam as you can see ham and spam i hope this was clear to you so over here i am wrapping up the nlp basic that was nltk okay and uh, okay thank you very much guys for listening to me